Good evening and happy Friday. Uh, today is day five of our devotional that is talking of journey um, from worry to a confident hope. And today is, um, I guess, narrowing in on what I would call more of forgiveness. And it's titled, Forgive Us the Things That We Owe. So on the extraordinary, extraordinary things about Jesus's ambition in his public career was his aim to form a new kind of family, a family of forgiveness. And this, of course, is rooted in God's promises in Jeremiah 31, Ezekiel 34 through 36, and comes through supremely in Isaiah 40 through 55, the promise of comfort. And when God fully and finally deals with sins and idolatry of his people, at the heart of the Lord's prayer is the motivation to share with one another that we have received from God, and that is the daily bread of forgiveness, which nourishes us and sustains our relationships. Families in the first century were multi-generational and included servants and others who all shared a common life together. The family unit was primary source of safety and provision. And as such, the family bond was crucial as we are coming down to find out as we are so close now together and being together as a family unit. unit. Um, if debts were owed, they were sorted out. When things went wrong, they needed to be reconciled. However, the idea of interpersonal forgiveness was something new. Debts and forgiveness go rather closely together, and some translations of the Bible use trespasses rather than debts. However, both words uh, need to be thought through. In Luke 4, 19, Jesus declares he has been sent to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, favor which calls to mind the year of Jubilee when debts were wiped off the record. At the heart of the Lord's prayer is the idea of relief, as when you are seeking to be released from debt that is owed. Yet it does not stop there. As we pray, forgive us our trespasses or debts, we also are praying that we too might celebrate the year of our Lord's favor. We are praying that we will be empowered to forgive the debts of others and release those who have cost us something by their offenses. In practice, we need to find ways today to make this a reality in the church, both in our own life and in our community. We might also campaign that the depths that were released will reveal whatever possible, for we are Jesus' new family of forgiveness. The door that opens as we receive God's forgiveness enables us to openness that swings in the direction of forgiveness for somebody else. If we insist on locking the door to other people who need our forgiveness, whether it's sins or the debts that someone else of somebody else, then we are in fact have the effect of slamming the door shut against God's forgiveness and saying, no, I don't want to be a forgiveness person. Jesus went about proclaiming and extending the forgiveness of sins apart from the normal way of sacrifices as the, at the temple. And this is quite an extraordinary thing for him to do. Who did Jesus think he was? What was he doing? With Christian hindsight, we see that he is preciously inaugurating the new covenant of God's kingdom on earth as in heaven. Today, when we are praying about forgiveness of our sins, we are praying for the blessings of a new covenant. We pray for reconciliation with God and for the possibilities of forgiveness and reconciliation to merge with one another. These are opportunities to come to us because of the work of faithfulness of Jesus the King, whose kingdom is all about forgiveness. So questions that I want you to consider. Jesus is the head of a new kind of family, a family of forgiveness. What is the role between release from our debts and trespasses in maintaining unity and holiness in the bond of love and peace. And now living it out, as you pray for God's forgiveness today, practice being a forgiveness person through whom God's relief, release, and gladness will flow out into the life of another. So um, as I see this is that you definitely can be a blessing to someone in a time um, where we might hold some grudges or things like that. Um, 
Again, we have a lot more time on our hands, I think, than normal times that might get our emotions going um, and thinking down a, a spiral of negativity. And I just want you to know that um, you are loved and God loves you. And um, if there's something or someone that you need to forgive, um, this might be a great time to reflect on that and do so. Um, the verse that goes with this is from Matthew 6, 12, 12. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So with that, I wish you a blessed evening and we'll see you tomorrow.